What's going on y'all? It's Max and my kind of eats and we are at the Bolorador Temple, one of the biggest Buddhist monuments in all of the world, just outside Yogi Karta. What we're gonna do today is just doing a little exploration, checking out the sunrise, checking out the temple, but then we are gonna head and get some breakfast. We're gonna hit a few more eats today. We're gonna go to coffee shops. It's gonna be a great relaxing day. I'm gonna bring you along with me. So let's head that way. That was a great way to wake up, see the sunrise, and just get your day started. But walking around and climbing up this thing has really worked up an appetite. I know there's a Pasar pretty close, so I think I can get in there, get in the market, and find something for breakfast. Okay, so quick change of plans. It looked like it was gonna rain, so I actually came back into the center of Georgia, I'm over here at Ouija Land Street, which actually just seems like to be the street you go to if you want some gudeg. Now, gudeg is a dish that originated here and around Jakarta and Central Java, and it is a dish that you usually eat here for breakfast anyway, so we're gonna get in here and go to a spot for some gudeg. Ah, so what you do is you get a lot of different things around the rice here, but I think the main dish which you come for is the good egg. And I mean, this is absolutely a beautiful one. I had my friend Andre, which you see I made a lot of videos with. He really recommended this good egg place, so I'm excited. And so there are two different types of gudeg, a wet and a dry. This is actually the dry version, which is gonna be sweeter and the wet is usually savier. Oh, wow, you do get a big sweetness and coconut flavor. The jackfruit flavor is actually not that strong. It does taste a little unripe. But other than that, you gotta love jackfruit because it's nice and meaty and hearty. Got some of that cow skin, like I said, it's bursting with those juices. Nice, spicy, salty, good counterbalance. And then you get a boiled egg that's been soaked in that ketchup. What else could you want? That was an awesome vibe. I'm ready to keep getting after this. Mm. The kicker for me is the cow skin and the tempeh that's been soaking in those chilies and that spicy broth because without that, this would be too sweet and too much and too coconutty. You need that to really pull back and counterbalance. Telling y'all what, the only mistake I made is not getting that mix in even better. Just go ahead and get all those ingredients in there. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love tempeh, y'all. They're not frying this. I guess they're gonna boil it or they're cooking it with a little sugar because it's got a little kick of sweetness as well. But other than that, y'all, you get this all mixed together and just works together like a beautiful symphony all in harmony. It's kind of funny though. These are what I just cannot get enough of. This is just a pure Javanese flavored meal. Mm. I want to get after this chicken though. No better way to get after it. <laughs> Look at it, the chicken. So you say you want a drumstick, you get the drumstick, but it comes attached with the foot as well. Love that, I'm gonna break mine off. Just try a meaty piece first. Mm. Oh. Oh, that is just marinated so intensely. You don't really get any chicken flavor. It's more there for the texture. Other than that is the flavors they've been marinating in the sim. And look at it, look how dark and deep this is from all that marinade. Mm. Mm, oh. To me, this just feels like Yogi Karta comfort food. Something you can eat, fill up your stomach, and get you feeling all right. Next up, we're heading to a rice stall that's over a hundred years old. And I said it's super close, just a few blocks away. So we're gonna walk that way. All right, so this place opens at 10. It's about 10.45 and you can see they've already sold out of a few dishes already. Oh my God. And this is self-service. So what I did is I just got nausea. I'm just gonna go around and pick the things I want to go with it. This is from the 
Ah, Mas Oke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all. I mean, this is just so fragrant right here. I get so overwhelmed when I'm over there because there's so many choices. Like I said, she's so friendly. I pretty much just let her lead the way. I'm just like, the whole time she's just picking stuff. <laughs> I'm certain the first thing she recommended, which is be special. I don't remember the name of it though. It was a little too hard for me, a little over my uh, education level. Anyway, so look at how tender this is. I mean, it's just flaking a part. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. If that isn't just some low and slow goodness cooked beef, oh my. And that sauce they're putting it in is nice and coconutty, but the texture it gets from it, from the herbs and spices. Oh, this is a gorgeous dish. I may not know its real name, but Beef Special is a pretty fitting name because this is special. <laughs> Oh, this is a hard fried egg. There's no runniness at all. It's gonna be like a boiled egg yolk texture. But sambal and egg yolk sounds like a beautiful thing to me, y'all. A little rice, a little egg sambal, and then their tempeh special. This tempeh is just fried up, sauced up, little nuggets of flavor, and then cooked in that spicy little sambal-like coating. Ooh wee. Okay, they got me today. Their drink special is coconut and syrup. I usually don't get drinks, but it sounds too good to pass up on. Mm. There's like this little aftertaste. It's almost like a little lemony limey. So it's like coconut syrup, and there's like a little lemon lime little kick at the end. Ooh. Unexpected, unexpected twist, but I'm digging it. Okay. Oh, this is why you gotta ask. Once some sambal went and asked, give me a huge bowl. I can add as much as I want. Look at this. Look at the texture of this one. You can tell they're adding some oil to it. Maybe adding like some tomato or something. But they're definitely adding some sugar because I can smell the sweetness. Just give me a couple scoops right there to mix into all this. Oh, that sambal transforms that, not just in the taste, the salty, the sweet, the spicy, but just texture, because it is kind of creamy and paste-like. It makes everything else just kind of sticky and come together. Ooh, that chili pepper had a kick of heat, but you do those peas, just give it a nice down-home cooked flavor. I mean, they're cooked down to extremely tender. You get that egg yolk in there to soak in this flavor. It's got a great depth of flavor, but then you do just get a, just enough oiliness from that top of oil, and you see all the oil bubbles just hanging out on top of this. All right, gonna change gears for a little bit. We're over by Jalan Maliboro. We're gonna cross north side of the train tracks and go for Kopi Jos, which is the coffee that they add the charcoal to. My inner kid just loves trains. All right, so it's about four o'clock right now. You see there's like two main roads that do the Copijos, and not everything's open quite yet. I don't think they open all of them until later, but there are a few open, so we're gonna find that charcoal coffee. Once, just me look. Oh. Oh, and it's just bubbling like crazy when he drops it in there. Oh, it's actually deep, dark, rich. Get more like chocolatey notes, a little sweetness to it. Uh, doesn't taste like charcoal, even though I guess not. I really don't know what charcoal would taste like. 
I mean, that tastes almost like a coffee and a hot chocolate mixture to me. I know they put the charcoal in it because it's supposed to help with like indigestion. I think it has a few other health benefits as well. It's supposed to kind of help cleanse you out. But other than that, I mean, this is just a nice little coffee, chocolatey, sweet drink. I think this milk one's where it's gonna be at though. It's gonna be nice and sweet. Oh yeah. I think if I had some sweet snacks though, the one without any milk in it would be perfect. Last thing we're going for today is some Chinese food. I'm at a restaurant. It's supposed to have some of the best Chinese food here in Yogyakarta. This place has been open since 1970. It's just been a staple when you're craving those Chinese dishes. So this has about 8,000 things to pick from. Oh man. All right, things are coming out. I can smell everybody else's food and it's got my mouth watering. I cannot wait for mine to get here and dig in to this Chinese food. Oh, I haven't held chopsticks in forever. Oh, it feels so good. Yep, still remember. Alright, gonna start off with some fried noodles, of course. And what's unique here, again, we're back in a Chinese area, so you get the pork fried noodles. Haven't had pork in a long time. And then check this out got the fried up omelet with lots of goodies in here. Gonna go for a nice slurp of noodles. Salty, umami, saucy, smoky pork fried noodles. Oh, that is hitting the spot. That's where you get a nice marriage from with the Chinese dish, the Chinese flavors, garlicky, smoky, salty, and umami with that Indonesian spicy fresh chili sauce. Ooh, that's a marriage. It's gonna last a long time. Alright, so with the omelet that comes with what looks like a little sweet and sour sauce, so you already know what time it is. It is sauce time. It's a fried egg omelet. It's done really well. Lots of scallions, lots of big kick of garlic flavor. I feel like it needs some oysters or just, just something. I don't know what it needs, whether it needs a little baby shrimp or oysters. It just needs something in it to take it to that next level. It's good, it's quality. It just needs something else. I wanna try out some of their pickled cucumber. And it's live band time, so this may really get hard to hear me in here. Which is extremely too loud. I mean, you could not hear what I was saying at all. Anyways, I just have one more dish anyways. It was this Guangdong Canto style, just cornstarch slurry with a bunch of pork, seafood, and vegetables. They did the actual dish very well. It's just not my style dish. A delicate flavor is garlicky, salty, just kind of like slurry sauce, not my favorite. It's a good Chinese restaurant if you're wanting more like Guangdong style, Canto style dishes. Anyways, that is going to do it for this video. I'm so sorry for the way it ended, but that's just the way it happens sometimes when you're vlogging it, you know? So, it's a max of my kind of beats. I'll catch you at the next video.